Review, Deal with the Devil by Tierney Stora. Description, Supano Academy is a fantasy romance series. With enemies to lovers, reverse harem, LGBTQ plus romance, multicultural characters, teacher, student romance and more. This is book 3 in the series. It is set in the fictional country of Marin, in the other realm and consists of a race called Fee, who are made up of various supernatural creature types. Please be advised that whilst most of this book is fun, angst and romantic to read, it does contain mentions of child abuse, various mental health issues, has graphic depictions of sex, self-harm and suicidal thoughts. One of us is dead. Fuck magic. We don't want it if it costs us everything. Sure, it would be useful in our quest to find peace and stop the heirs, or those that control them, from whatever ridiculous plans they have for us. But we would never take power if it meant losing one of us to the gods. We'd rather kill the whole world and spend eternity alone than to lose each other. But we don't have a choice in the matter. The Shadow Queen's minion has taken one of us. And now we're screwed. Dark light blood has been spilled and we don't know how to fix things. We're under attack from every angle and we don't know who we can trust. We need magic. We need power. And as much as we don't like to admit it, we need help. Maybe it's time we prayed to the gods above, and the one below. After all, the devil often makes deals with sinners, and with the biggest sinners of them all. My opinion, Deal with the Devil by Tiani Stora is a paranormal fantasy. It's the third book from the Supano Academy series. This book is part of a series and it can't be read as a standalone. It's a dark paranormal fantasy, mixed with a reverse harem, enemies to lovers, and FF romance. It's told from multiple points of view and well written with fantastic world building. It has a lot of action, and many murder scenes and some of them are quite gruesome. The plot is engaging, with the secrets one by one slowly revealed, which gives us some clarity. At the same time, it creates confusion because we don't have all the pieces of the puzzle. The romance progresses as well. Dari and Lena are happy with their lovers. While Kai is getting confused and sexually frustrated with her harem, their love scenes are scorching hot. My favorite part was the confrontation with the royals. I recommend this book only to those who like dark fantasy and are open-minded. I will rate it with 4 stars.